Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a distort effect in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with, I've created a new document, 900 pixels wide and 900 pixels high. And I'm going to select the type tool, left click on the artboard, and I'm going to type a series of zeros and ones. So kind of binary code, I think. And I'm going to scale this up holding shift and alt to scale from the center. And uh, let's just select a font. I'm going to go with ASAP bold for this tutorial. And I'm just going to select the character panel and just space these numbers apart a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is just with this selected, hold alt and shift and drag up. And that will create a copy. And then I'm going to press command or control D immediately after creating that copy and it will repeat that last action. So I can use it to create a few different copies. And then I'm going to bring these down, go to object and group. So now this is one group altogether. And then I'm going to position this centrally on the artboard. Now you don't need to do this with text or numbers. You can do this with any vector shape or graphic that you've created in Illustrator. So we've now got our series of numbers, lots and lots of numbers. And if we select this, we go to effect down to distort and transform and select free distort. And you'll see this box pop up and you can use these four corner points to distort your graphic. And you'll see that it can bend and curve and stretch and you can do all manner of crazy things with these and you can reset if you'd like to go back to the beginning. So let's just pull this down. You'll see it starts to curve there. And we'll pull this across the top. So something like this. And select OK once you're happy. And you'll see that it has distorted the graphic here. Now all these blue numbers that are still appearing on screen are because Illustrator still recognizes that these numbers are all still editable text. So what I did then was go into outline mode, so that's command or control Y. So it's still all made up of text or numbers. But what it's doing is if I select this and go to the appearance panel, it's applying an appearance effect. So free distort is listed and I can select this, go back and edit it, save any changes by clicking OK, or I can delete the effect altogether. Once I'm happy with what I've created, we can go to Object and Expand Appearance. Before we do that though, if I double click on the graphic, it takes me inside the group here. And then what I can do is select some text, double click, and I can start changing the numbers. So all this text is all still editable. And then to go back, we just come up to this arrow in the top left corner and just go back out to the main image. So we're happy with our design, we've distorted it, it's all looking great. Let's just select everything, go to Object, Expand Appearance. And then you may need to do it again, go to Object and Expand. If a box doesn't pop up, great. If it does, just make sure Fill and Stroke is selected and click OK. And then if we go back into Outline Mode, that's Command or Control Y we'll see that this is now no longer editable text, but a series of shapes in Illustrator. And we can select what we've created and distorted, double click on a swatch, select global and adjust the colors so we're happy, click OK and we're done. And there we go, that's how to create a distort effect in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.